It was. I won't return to the startling beauty of the valley where stars glimmer bright, and so many. I stood in the quiet road, amazed. It seemed a fantasy. It was. The stars and dark, steep mountains circle us. Beneath the huge pines, deer wind a careful path to the waiting water. They know no guilt. Inside the circle of water, the clear rippling twin of moon, coyotes' careless handiwork of stars, the deep black sky. The water is still, quiet, lapping at the edges. Mosquitoes hum, waiting, waiting. The water does not remember you and me, sharing stories, teasing, laughing at lunch. Perhaps those afternoons, bright sounds linger in the trees, the steep cliffs, the dry air. But what good is memory if this place does not recognize me, or you? Later, a low din dissipates into the floor of the valley. Inside the glass-walled banquet rooms, people are reading and talking poetry. Wine glasses clink. Sheaf of poems shuffles. Peals of laughter descend into the cool night. I am there, reading words and smiling. I am not there. I watch the wide back doors. I drive slowly past houses of fine-aged wood and huge glazed windows. I know no songs to draw you out to the night's lingering beauty. You are inside a huge, dark house, a silent shelter of your own thoughts. Everything you should have said echoes over and over. You are drinking too much. There is no cemetery here, though the deer are lying down in the hushed mountainside. There is no cemetery in the glorious disarray of distant stars. There is no cemetery, though stories are buried in the mountainside. There is no cemetery, though songs burn when glowing stars fall. Tell me. Tell me now. What good are words that wither in the clean silver slants of moonlight?